India proudly bought those shiny new Rafale fighter jets from France, spending a whopping $9 billion for just 36 jets, all in the name of gaining air superiority over Pakistan and possibly competing with China. India wanted to ensure no Pakistani plane could even think about challenging them. But guess what? One missile, just one missile, could shatter that $9 billion dream to pieces. And that missile is China's PL-15, now in the hands of the Pakistan Air Force. Right when India-Pakistan tensions started heating up again, China stepped in and did something crazy. They gave Pakistan a batch of PL-15 missiles. According to latest reports, Pakistan received around 100 PL-15 missiles, and they didn't even get this cheap export version. They got the real deal, straight from China's own Air Force stocks. This means it's not the first time Pakistan is using the PL-15. They had a few for testing before, but now they have plenty, ready for action. The PL-15 is a beyond visual range. BVR air-to-air -air missile, built for long-distance kills. It can fly at speeds over Mach 5, that's five times faster than sound, and strike targets up to 300 kilometers away, meaning a jet over Lahore could easily hit one deep inside Indian Punjab. Powered by a dual-pulse solid rocket motor and guided by an advanced ASA radar, the missile isn't just fast. It can lock onto enemy jets from very far and adjust its path mid-flight to make sure it hits its target. It's smart, accurate and brutal. Pakistan's JF-17 Block 3 fighter jets are the main platforms for PL-15 missiles. Pakistan has already inducted about 50 JF-17 Block 3 jets, and more are coming fast. Imagine 50 JF-17s, each carrying deadly PL-15 missiles, lurking in the skies. India's expensive Rafales would be flying with a big, fat target on their backs. Now, let's talk about the Rafales, and whether they can really stand up against the PL-15. The Rafale is armed with two main air-to-air -air missiles. The Meteor, which can strike targets at around 100 to 200 kilometers, depending on conditions and flies at nearly Mach 4. And the MICA, a shorter-range backup missile designed for close-range dogfights. The Rafale is also packed with powerful defensive systems like Spectra, which includes electronic jamming, radar warning receivers, and missile detection capabilities. This allows the Rafale to sometimes detect incoming missiles early and attempt to dodge them. When it comes to radars, the JF-17 Block 3 radar can detect enemy aircraft at about 170 to 200 kilometers, while the Rafale's radar can spot targets at around 200 to 250 kilometers, depending on altitude and target size. At first glance, it looks like Rafale wins in terms of radar detection, but the real problem for Rafale starts when we talk about missile range. The Rafale's Meteor missile can reach targets at 100 to 200 kilometers, while the JF-17's PL-15 missile can strike from a massive 250 to 300 kilometers. In air combat, detecting the enemy first is important. But being able to shoot first matters even more. Even though the JF-17's radar can spot enemies up to 200 kilometers, slightly less than Rafale's 250 kilometers, it doesn't need to detect the Rafale itself at extreme distances. It can get targeting information from AWACS, early warning aircraft, or ground radar networks, lock the missile with external help, and launch the PL-15 from far away. Even if the Rafale spots the JF-17 first, the JF-17's PL-15 can fire much earlier and can shoot down the Rafale before it even has a chance to fire back. The PL-15 also wins in speed, flying at Mach 5, while the Meteor reaches Mach 4. This means if both missiles are fired at each other from 200 kilometers away, 
the JF-17's PL-15 would hit the Rafale almost half a minute earlier. And in air combat, 30 seconds can decide life or death. The sky belongs to whoever fires first. And with PL-15, Pakistan might just fire first. Pakistan's new PL-15 missiles have just changed the entire game. Imagine losing one or two $125 million Rafale jets to a $30 million JF-17 carrying a Chinese missile. It would be a total disaster for India's $9 billion plan.